Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Lineage OS 20 based on Android 13 on the Google Pixel 6a, the Google Pixel 7 Pro, the Google Pixel 7, the Google Pixel 6 Pro, the Google Pixel 6. Now, do note that you do need a device with an unlocked bootloader. How do you unlock the bootloader on your Google Pixel? Video for that can be found in the description of this video. Next thing, you will need access to a computer, Windows, Mac, Linux, doesn't really matter as long as you have access to a computer. Next up, all your data is going to be lost. So make sure you have a backup of all the important things you have on your device, including the pictures, videos, anything any special notes and also make sure that you've charged the battery on your device to at least 50 to 60 percent do not do this process if your battery is at 20 or 30 percent i will be showing you this method on my google pixel 6a but it is going to work on the google pixel 7 pro the google pixel 6 pro the google pixel 6 but the only difference is that you have to use the files for your device and of course all the relevant links are in the description of this video so without any further delay let us get down to business next thing we need to do is we need to remove all the accounts and security measures which we have on our google pixel so let us go into settings then you will go into security and privacy and remove your fingerprint and face unlock then we can go back go into passwords and accounts and here and remove the google account associated with your device now, once you've removed all the accounts and security measures, go ahead and reboot your device once. Now, before you ask me, hey Manji, why are we removing all the accounts and security measures and removing all the accounts? Well, we're doing this because we are switching from one ROM to another. And if you do not do these steps, then when you boot into your custom ROM for the first time, you will have to sign into your account, which was previously signed in. So to avoid that situation and that headache, I just personally prefer to remove all the accounts and security measures on my Google Pixel devices before I flash a custom ROM. Next thing we need to do is we need to boot our Google Pixel device into fast boot mode. So how do you do that? Well, for starters, you go ahead and restart your device. Then as soon as the screen goes black, you press and hold volume down. So I selected restart and then screen went black. I am pressing and holding volume down and pretty soon I should boot into fast boot mode so just be patient and soon enough you will be in fast boot mode bam there it is this is how fast boot mode looks like and as you can see i am using my google pixel 6a for the purpose of this video next thing you need to do is you need to connect your google pixel to your computer using a usb cable Next thing we need is the Lineage OS ROM itself for the Google Pixel devices. Now here it is. This is the official website of Lineage OS. Download.lineageos.org. Let us go into Google and in my case I am using the Google Pixel 6a. So we are going to select this one and then these are the different versions which are available at the time of recording this video they are shipping lineage os 20 which is based on android 13 but these are nightly builds on the right you will have the date as well so this one on the top seems like the latest build from 18th of february so we're going to select this and wait for it to download now, other than the Lineage OS zip file, we also need a custom recovery for our Google Pixel. So links to all of those, of course, can be found in the description of the video for say the Pixel 7, the Pixel 7 Pro, the Pixel 6, the Pixel 6 Pro, and of course the Google Pixel 6 A, which is the one which we're using in this video. So you will land up on a page like this here and you need to go to the latest one. So in our case, the latest one is from 18th of February, 2023. If I go inside this folder, you will notice I have the lineage OS zip file over here and then I have something called vendor underscore boot so this is the recovery file which is going to be used to install lineage OS on our Google pixel so this is the one which you need to download another important thing to note over here is that lineage OS out of the box does not come with Google Apps baked in. What does that mean? That means if you need to access the Play Store and stuff, then you have to sideload your Google Apps and you have to download the zip file separately. So this here is the wiki.lineageos.org page for Google Apps. Here it is. We are using Lineage OS 20 and we are going to go to 
mind the g apps so here it is we are on the official page of mind the g apps so as you can see you have 10 11 12 12.1 and you have 13 so the ones which we need are for android 13 and we are looking for arm 64 so this is the one which we will have to use mind the g apps 13.0.0 arm 64 in the meantime another thing which you need is adb and fastboot so this here again is the official website of developer.android.com they call it platform tools and here you have sdk platform tools for windows mac or linux you have to download the one for your operating system i will be doing it on a mac so this is the one which i'm going to download do note if you have a system which is based on windows you will need to install your adb and fastboot drivers and video for that can be found in the description of this video next thing i recommend you do is you place all these files inside one folder so we have our rom itself linear os 24 the google pixel 6a then if you want to flash google apps we have that zip file this is our adb and fastboot and this is our recovery file next thing extract the platform tools it will create another folder with the same name if you go inside platform tools here and you have adb and you also have fastboot over here next thing move the other three things which we need so lineage os google apps and your recovery inside this platform tools folder next thing back in linux users we need to open terminal in this folder and windows users will have to open command prompt in that folder so if i do ls over here and windows users can do dir space slash p you will notice i have my google apps i have my fast boot i have adb i have lineage os and i have vendor underscore boot dot img all of these files are now inside one folder next thing we need to do is we need to check whether our google pixel is being detected in fast boot mode or not so the command for that is fast boot space devices and mac and linux users will need to enter dot slash before the command and once you've entered the command press the enter key bam there it is you can see that my device is being detected in fast boot mode now in case you are on windows your device is not being detected in fast boot mode that means you do not have to try was installed and as i mentioned earlier in the video the video on how to install adb and fast boot drivers on your windows computer can be found in the description of this video next thing we need to do is we need to flash this vendor underscore boot recovery file so the command for that is fast boot space flash space vendor underscore boot and then the path of the file so the easiest method over here is to just drag and drop this file onto your command prompt or onto the terminal and that is going to plug in the full path and of course mac and linux users do need to enter dot slash before the command and then we're going to press the enter key and as you can see it was sent to vendor underscore boot underscore a in my case in your case it might be sent to vendor underscore boot underscore b depending on your active partition next thing we need to do is we need to boot into this recovery so on your phone you can press the volume up key to switch between the different options and once you see the option for recovery mode then you press the power button and that is going to make sure that we boot into the recovery which we just flashed to our google pixel 6 a and you should be greeted with the lineage os logo to let you know that you are in lineage os recovery so here it is we have successfully booted into lineage os recovery here in you can again Again, use the volume buttons to switch through the different options the first thing we need to do is go to factory reset once that option is highlighted and selected press the power button and we have to confirm it so we're going to press the power button one more time format data slash factory reset is selected by default press that and then select format data and press the power button one more 
time now do note obviously format data is going to factory reset your device now once the process has finished successfully you will get an appropriate message at the bottom that data wipe was complete now if i tap on the back arrow i can go back to the main menu of lineage os recovery herein next up we need to go into the next option which is apply update so once that is highlighted and selected we're going to press the power button and then apply from adb press the power button one more time and at this point you're going to get a message that we can now send the file which we want to send so back on the computer next thing we need to do is send the lineage os zip file to our google pixel 6a and the command for that is adb space sideload space name of the file now you have to plug in the full path again the best option here is to drag and drop the file into your command prompt or terminal of course mac and linux users do need to enter dot slash before the command and then we are going to press the enter key and as you can see it is telling me that the daemon was not running now it has started successfully and at this point it is sending the file over to my google pixel 6a and lineage os 20 based on android 13 is being installed on the google pixel 6a now at this point if you look at your device it is going to tell you that it is verifying the update package and pretty soon it should change over to installing the update package and there it is you can see that it has now changed to step one of in some cases on your command prompt you might not reach 100 percent you might be stuck at 47 percent nothing to worry and as you can see that is the case with me we are stuck at 47 percent in the terminal all right so there it is you can see that we were stuck at 47 percent for a long time and now we have transfer 1x as the total transfer in command prompt and on your device we've gotten step 1 of 2 step 2 of 2 and then the next message on the command prompt is install completed with status 0. now at this point you have two options if you do not want to install google apps then you will just select reboot system now and you should boot into lineage os 20 based on android 13 if you want google apps then we are going to go into advanced on the linear os recovery on our google pixel 6a and we are going to say reboot into recovery so that is going to make sure that we boot back into recovery mode now once we are back into recovery we can go into the apply update option and then press the power button one more time to say apply from adb and we are back in the side load mode and we can send our package once again so this time around the command is the same adb space side load but the file is different we are going to drag and drop our google apps package and then press the enter key on the keyboard now when you're flashing google apps you're going to get a message that signature verification failed and that is expected all you need to do is make sure that yes is highlighted and then press the power button to continue the installation of google apps onto our google pixel 6a and there it is you can see that we got the message that installation was successful and even on our command prompt we got total transfer 1x at this point we can go ahead and say reboot system now and there it is peeps we do have the google boot animation on our google pixel 6a which should be followed by the lineage os boot animation there it is lineage os boot animation in the building which means we are successfully booting into lineage os 20 based on android 13 onto our google pixel 6a the first boot up might take some time so you have to be patient and there it is we are on the initial setup screen let me skip the initial setup real quick and of course at this point feel free to disconnect your phone from the computer and there it is we are on the home screen and let us open the application drawer you will see we have the play store over here we also have the google app which means google apps were installed successfully next up let us go into settings and then we can go into about phone and here in bam here it is android version of course is 13 the build number here is lineage os 20 based on android 13 this is the latest nightly available at the time of recording this video